forward to sitting down with uh, uh, with uh, various stakeholders, and chiefs, and including uh, Perry Belgard, obviously, uh, and ensuring that we move forward. There have been a number of different initiatives put forward, somewhat piecemeal across the country. I believe that there is a need for a national public inquiry to bring justice for the victims, healing for the families, and to put an end to this tragedy. Uh, that's what we will do. We will work uh, with communities and with uh, uh, engaged uh, stakeholders to ensure that we get moving on this quickly. After exhaustive research that looks back across six decades, CBC News has launched today a database over 200 murdered and missing Indigenous women. There have been repeated calls for public inquiry to look at this issue, but an RCMP report last year didn't even identify the women. As of this morning, you can see their names and faces for yourself and read their stories on our website. Connie Walker has more. So today we launched a database uh, that really puts some faces and names to some of the statistics around murdered and missing Indigenous women. Now we focus specifically on the unsolved cases. We found over 200 across the country and we interviewed 110 families about their loved one's death or disappearance, many of them telling their loved one's stories for the first time. So part of uh, our, our database contains research and surveys that we did with the family in which we found that there's an overwhelming uh, majority who say they're dissatisfied with the police investigations into their loved one's death or disappearance. Uh, the average rating was 2.8 out of 10. We also found that 70% of the families say they support a national inquiry. Uh, you know, you'll hear or you'll read uh, individual stories like Tina Fontaine or Cindy Gladue, but when you visit the website and see 110 women's stories, certainly you get to begin to get a sense of the bigger picture and, and certain patterns begin to emerge uh, in terms of some of the circumstances uh, that these women were living. A lot of these women were survivors of abuse. Many of them lived in poverty. Uh, many suffered w with addictions. So we're hoping to um, start a conversation with, with this database but also we're hoping this is a call to action. We know that there are more names to be added to this list and certainly more stories that need to be told. Connie Walker, CBC News, Toronto. The RCMP is planning to issue...